for the first time in 60 years, rent is rising faster than salaries. That's according to the Bank of Montreal. After eight years of this prime minister, rent has doubled, mortgage payments have doubled, and down payments have, have doubled too. Will the prime minister finally watch my documentary? It's an unprecedented, very striking, common sense documentary. And will the prime minister come up with a common sense plan to bring down grocery prices and build homes that people can afford and can buy? Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's a shame that the Honourable Member doesn't put as much energy into generating housing policies as he does to generating housing videos. The reality, oh. Mr. Speaker, is when I actually look at the measures he's putting forward, including in the video, they're going to result in fewer homes being constructed than we are already on pace to build. He plans to put the GST back on some home construction. He plans to cut funding for cities who are trying to build more housing, and he plans for Canada to get out of the home building game altogether. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we will make the investments necessary to build more homes and not adopt the uh, strategy to cut home funding like the Conservatives would. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, he clearly didn't watch my common sense documentary, which is being widely, acc widely acclaimed by all. If he had, he would know the facts. Our common sense plan takes the GST off for apartments that are affordable, below average cost. He wants to take it off just for $10 million penthouses. We want to take the T the bureaucracy out of the picture so home builders can build. He's got a $4 billion fund that, according to the city of Halifax, is funding more bureaucratic Thanks. gatekeepers. So, why won't he watch the documentary, follow the common sense plan to get rid of the taxes and the bureaucracy, and build more homes? The Honourable Minister of Housing. Mr. Speaker, it's fascinating. For him, it's about how many people are going to watch his Twitter videos. For me, it's about how many people are going to have a roof over their head. Here, here. The right path forward is going to have Canada make investments in home building, not cuts to home builders. The right investment will reduce taxes on the construction of homes, not put taxes on them. Mr. Speaker, the right path forward will not repeat the mistakes of the past by cutting funding for affordable housing for 30 years, as that honourable member pledges to do. We will make the investments. We will not accept that cuts are the right approach. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. But here's the reality. People don't have roofs over their head. After eight years of this Prime Minister and his housing minister of photo ops and media puff pieces, the rent has doubled. Mortgage payments have doubled, down payments have doubled. In his own home province, in Halifax, they now have 30 homeless encampments. Nine out of ten young people say they will never be able to afford a home. And what have they done? Create a $4 billion housing accelerator that two years later hasn't completed a single solitary house. Why won't they get rid of the bureaucracy and the taxes so that we can bring homes Canadians can afford? The Honourable Minister of Housing. Mr. Speaker, the irony when I take criticisms about photo ops from that member is shocking because he continues to use his opportunities to travel around the country on the government's dime to take pictures in front of projects that our government funded. Oh, the reality oh, is the one that he is talking about has secured agreements that will change the way that cities are built, not just in Halifax, but in Moncton, Kitchener, Kelowna, Calgary, Vaughan, Brampton, Richmond Hill, London, whoa, Hamilton, the province whoa, of Quebec, whoa, and I will whoa, continue whoa, the more time whoa, whoa, the Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. You know, all those homes in all those cities that he's talking about, they're all open concept. They have no walls, they have no windows, they have no roofs, they have no basements, no kitchens, no bathrooms. In fact, Mr. Speaker, other than that, they're the best homes you can imagine, and you'll have to imagine them because after eight years, they still don't exist. So. Instead of pouring billions of dollars into local government gatekeepers who block construction, why won't he follow my common sense plan to require cities boost housing construction by 15% a year or lose their money unless they beat the target and get a building bonus? Common sense. The Honourable Minister of Housing. 
Mr. Speaker, the Honourable's member, uh, Honourable Member's argument falls apart when you come to understand he ignores the good work that has been done since the National Housing Strategy was adopted in 2017. There are hundreds of thousands of homes that exist today that have been built or retrofitted as a direct result of government supports that have put them in place. Mr. Speaker, when you actually look at what the Honourable Member's policy will do, it will raise taxes on middle-class home construction. It will cut funding to cities who desperately need the infrastructure so they can build more homes homes, and he will remove support for affordable housing altogether, which is a cardinal sin we cannot repeat after a 30-year history where we should have learned those lessons. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. A cardinal sin. It's time for that member to make a confession <laughs> that since 2017, when they brought in this program, housing costs have doubled. The rent has doubled. Mortgage payments have doubled. The needed down payment have all Doubled. My common sense plan, which is in a 15-minute documentary he can watch between photo ops while he's being chauffeured around, would ensure that cities have to permit 15% more homes in order to keep their funding. It would take taxes off construction, including carbon taxes off of building materials, and it would require CMHC bureaucrats quickly approve, approve financing or lose their bonuses and get fired. This is a common sense plan. Why won't he get working to implement it? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Minister of Housing. I'm fond of the Honourable Member's uh, soliloquies on biblical passages, Mr. Speaker, somebody who read scripture in church growing up, and if there's one lesson I took, it's that we all have a responsibility to help the vulnerable members of our community. The reality is we have been investing since 2017 to put money in place that's actually going to support people who do not have a roof over their head, to build more affordable housing after 30 years of Liberal and Conservative governments not taking the issue of housing seriously. The Honourable Member plans to make cuts where we will make investment, and I know which path will put a roof over more of my neighbours' heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah.